Even if there's not a special event going on, you can still take a day and walk the main drag to visit all these restaurants and shops. Many of the places to visit have been staples in the village for years, but there's a new place in town to add some sizzle to Grand Rapids. Knuckleheads Cafe wants to shake things up. They uh, had bought this property about two years ago. They took their time fixing this up. And J.R. Hernandez was hired to be executive chef. I asked what the menu was. They ripped the menu up and said, make whatever you want. It just has to be uh, American Southwest. I kind of chuckled. I go, I'm a Mexican Puerto Rican. This is like Yao Ming doing a layup. Hernandez is proud of making everything from scratch. No processing or slicers. It's back to the basics. Uh, our goal is in uh, three to five years to be solely sustainable off the community. So everyone talks and brags about it. We are actually practicing what we preach. So I think that's one thing that's going to set us apart from everyone else. When taking a stroll in downtown Grand Rapids, don't forget to stop and smell the roses. Chamber members say that displays like these are all privately funded by business owners and residents. Here's a shop you won't find for hours around. We have people specifically making day trips to come here because you just don't find what we've done here at Natural Fiber and Yarn in a lot of places. Owner Cindy Jarvey has a couple herds of alpacas. We raise the fleece, we harvest it once a year, and then it's processed at a United States mill in Pennsylvania. She wanted to bring a different kind of agriculture to the area. You raise fleece and you're not a grain farmer, but yet you get the agricultural benefits. Now this is a ball of yarn. This is made from alpaca and it's the rug yarn and it's actually made from the leg and belly of an alpaca. So it's not going to be as soft, but it's so that all parts of the alpaca are used so they can really just make good use of it. And you'll see that there's all different colors and these are natural. So there's always gonna be different colors and it's always gonna be one of a kind. Each animal is slightly different. Um, so when it's processed, you'll see a, a color change. From start to finish, or anything in between, there's lots to see inside shops in Grand Rapids or outside. The Mill House Bed and Breakfast. It's the perfect place to stay if you can't fit all these activities into just one day. For Life is Better, I'm Christy Lee.